Today, we've got something exciting to share because Ubiquiti has just rolled out their new G6 product camera series and we're here to break it down for you. This lineup includes three models, the G6 Bullet, G6 Turret and G6 Instant. In this video, we'll dive into their key features, explain how they differ from the previous G5 generation and give you the rundown on what's new. This is our first look at the G6, but stick around because the future videos on people system were planning some great demos. We'll compare the G6, not just with the G5, but with cameras from other brands, so we can all see how Ubiquiti's tech shines in professional security solutions. All right, let's get to it. So what's new with G6 models? First off, the sensor. All G6 models by default come with an 8 megapixel sensor, and yes, even the G6 N stand that we have here, but this we'll discuss later. The result, 4K video resolution with a bit more detail, especially in tricky lighting, and great low light performance. It's not the wow, I've never seen this kind of technology kind of change, but for those of you working with analytics, this matters. Sharper footage means better accuracy for things like face or license plate recognition, and the G6 shows great results. Because yes, the G6 series now have advanced AI detections such as LPR and face detection. Let's run through the models. First up is the G6 Bullet, a classic PoE camera built for indoor or outdoor use. It's got a metal body with IP66 rating, so it can handle rain, dust, temperature swings, no problem. Compared to the G5 Bullet, the G6 has an upgrade infrared system. It reaches way farther than its predecessor. So to give you an idea, the G5 reaches up to nine meters and the G6 is up to 30 meters. Next, and this is true for both the G6 Bullet and Turret, they have glare-free infrared lighting, so distant objects remain visible without bright halos or overexposed areas. And about the build, so if we look at it, that first look of the camera, it's a little bit bigger than the G5, so you can see right on this region, it's a bit wider than what we had previously. And you also have this black ring uh, around the lens that we have on top, that is kind of made of rubber. So there's a, quite a big difference when you have a G5 and G6 installed next to one another. You can easily find the G6 model right here. Let us know in the comment below what you prefer, all white, or do you like this new look that you have on the G6 camera? Now, if we look at the G6 turret, well, it is also PoE powered, but it's more compact and slick. Compared to the G5 turret, the G6 has a wider field of view by roughly five degrees horizontally, and improve the dynamic range just a touch. That means more details in scenes with arch sunlight and deep shadows. It's also IP66 rated, and it comes in black or white, like the bullet. For indoor setups, it's a great pick, discreet, but still delivers top-notch recordings. And the turret has exactly the same spec as the bullet camera, so if you're just looking to change from a far factor to the other, you don't have to worry about performance. And then there's the G6 Instant, a wireless option for anyone who does not want to pass cables through walls. It connects via Unify Auto Link and you're up and running in minutes through the app. As I said earlier, the G6 Instant gets the same 8 megapixel sensor as the other G6 models, and that's a big win. Previous wireless models from Ubiquiti had weaker sensors, but now you're getting pro level quality without the wire. And for those of you that are new with Unify, just an FYI, there is no subscription fee for this. What about the analytics? Well, all the G6 cameras run on multi tops AI engine. To keep it short, tops is the horsepower behind the smart features. Add this with the sharper image you have with the G6 and it really boosts detection accuracy for faces and plates. You can also pair it with the AI key and searches like show me the person in the blue jacket will run faster with fewer misses. For large setups with dozens of cameras, that's a time saver. And speaking of the platform, the G6 ties into Unify Protect. And if 4K resolution eats too much storage, you can drop to 2K or even HD. And this is something we'll show in our next video. 
So how does the G6 stack up against the G5? It's evolution, not revolution. The picture is clearer, analytics are sharper, infrared is more effective. So if you're upgrading from G5, you'll notice the difference. But still, if your G5 cameras are still going strong and you don't need advanced analytics, you might not need to rush out for a G6. But if you're starting fresh or replacing older cameras, the G6 is a great choice. The price stays competitive, bullet and turret are around $199 and the instant is at $179. That's a slight bump from the G5's long prices, but reasonable for what you're getting. In future video, we'll take the G6 for a real-world spin, pitting them against the G5 and other brands, so you can see the result for yourselves. Alright guys, that's our initial take on the G6 Protect series. If you're a security professional like most our viewers, let us know what you think in the comments. I'm Jeremy. This is People Systems. Subscribe so you don't miss our next upcoming test. See you on the next one.